the thing that has struck me more and more is that I want to be in love with Jesus and I want him to be the supreme affection of my life. I went through a period of time where I would say that I wanted to obey the Lord, that I wanted to do the work of the ministry, that I wanted to share my faith. But when people would say to me things like, well, I love the Lord, or I want you to love the Lord, I would sit there and acknowledge and you know do the head nod, but I didn't feel the emotion of it in my heart. And I struggled with that for a long time. I went through some uh, mental illness issues and some medical issues. That ended up with me running roughshod over my family and in some ways over my ministry. It was really, I was a mess, I was a mess. And that really drove me back to scripture and back to what God was doing in our lives. And that was the period where I could say I began to fall in love with the Lord all over again. The Lord brought us through it and helped me to get out of that area in my life where I didn't want to be. And that's when I really began to realize I want to obey because I love the Lord, not just because I want to do the right thing. I do want to do the right thing, but I want everything to be born out of love for Christ. You know, it's like people want to know what are the deep things of God. You know, the deepest thing of God is God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. For God so loved the world. Uh, then you look at 1 Corinthians 13, the great love chapter. And then you look at John's writings, especially in 1 John, the emphasis that he puts on loving the Lord. That's what I want more than anything else. Even if you make a mistake, it's okay. God still loves you and he'll use you. He will increase your love for him as time goes by. And so pray and seek God all the time and fall in love with him um, because he will do amazing things in your life if you will love him and trust him.